Hello, my name is Mariam, the, I'm the member of LDN Consultancies for today. I prepared the market research on UK coffee trends and we're gonna start with uh, some historical facts that the coffee was found in North Africa in the 11th century but first time it was tasted by British person only in 1600. 52 years later the first coffee shop was opened in Oxford in the UK and there are a few more interesting facts but we're gonna talk about 1970s and 19th where when uh, coffee was reinvented by Starbucks, Costa and etc etc and that was the beginning of the skinny latte era for today UK has more than 24,000 coffee shops around the country and three coffee shops opening every day speaking of market current facts is that currently retail value of sales of coffee is 1.3 billion pounds it's going to expect to grow uh, by 20% to 1.5 billion pounds by 2024 and retail volume sales of coffee is 70 million kilos and it's gonna expect to grow to 73 in next five years uh, so based on these results amount of coffee shops in the uk is gonna beat amount of pubs in the next 10 years now we're going to talk about consumption that 80, 95 million cups of coffee consumed in UK every day. 65% of that we consume at home, 25 at work and 10% in the coffee shops. Uh, speaking about at home consumption, 80% of that is instant coffee that mostly consumed by elderly people or who reached uh, 65 years. And then it's ground beans coffee and then it's coffee pots so speaking of coffee whey it's from roaster it separates um, to in-home consumption and uh, the follow the leads by supermarkets leading retailers Tesco it has 29 percent of the whole market out of home consumption uh, based on coffee shops and the leader is costa coffee followed by Starbucks and then Coffee Nero. Speaking about the consumer and its behavior, there are three major things that consumers always consider choosing the coffee. Uh, it's favorite brand, then it's followed by roast level of coffee and then ethical values of the company. Speaking about the future, what does the future hold for coffee? So the first trend to see is uh, signature coffee uh, it's going to be uh, uh, exotic Tanzania pear berry beans that you have never tasted before, uh, following by variations of iced coffee. And then uh, we're going to see cold brew coffee that is actually 67% less acidic than the hot one that we have every day. And it tastes less bitter. Uh, next one is options and customization. And this is a perfect... Uh, idea for home consumption it's ad hoc coffee that freshly freshly brewed coffee without any additional filter paper then healthy coffee finally uh, that coffee is gonna mix with spices or even vegetables it's gonna improve the taste and the texture of the drink and finally it's plant-based products and these so basically vegan ones dairy-free meals that's already popular is gonna be more and more popular it's gonna has their strength on the market like soya milk oat milk or any other dairy free options so which of the uk population demographic should coffee launch target obviously london's millennials why london because it has a lot of university and offices uh, that needs coffee shops to be surrounded uh, by the way, millennials drinks more specialty coffee than other group. They want to be heard. They want they want to be engaged, and they're really into the dig digital world. That is uh, gonna be a great marketing and recognition for the brand because millennials wants to share their experience with others. And speaking about economic facts, UK is the fifth uh, largest coffee consumer in the Europe. The gross value added contribution from the UK coffee industry to the economy is estimated to be nine billion pounds. So UK coffee market has a significant beneficial influence on the employment. It's creating more than 200,000 